Hi everyone and welcome back to a very late Let's Play System Shock. Apologies again for the long delay. Right after I'd finished filming the last episode, my sound card failed and I had to get another sound card. The onboard sound card had failed on my computer and I had to get another sound card. And it's taken me a little while to get back into the swing of this game. Uh, I've not played it for so long. I kind of forgot how all the controls work, and so you have to forgive me for looking a little bit helpless at times. So we've cleared off level 1, and we've headed up to this level 2, which is the executive offices. And as soon as I remember how to play the logs... Still having power outages over on Beta Quadrant. Probably the computer with a high priority job. I'm kind of rerouting, I'll bet. We're installing circuit breakers on data. That way we can bring the lines up after searches. And just having a wander through, looking through logs and bits and pieces, anything that will help us out. Alright, Shodan. We've got power fluctuations. And robot crews are redecorating Alpha Quad. Where's the reboot switch? The biggest thing I'm looking for at the moment is things like key codes or passwords and also medipacks. I'm trying to stock up on as many medipacks as I can, even though I do tend to go through them. Scary noises. This game is a lot more atmospheric than I remember it. Um, uh, certainly, when I was playing this episode, um, there was a lot of times where I'd hear a sound and I'd look behind me to see if there was anything there, and there wasn't. It was It's certainly a lot more psychological than I remember. I guess when you're a bit younger, you're a bit more gung-ho, and you just fly through the levels without really paying too much attention. Again, this is me just failing at remembering how to use the interface. And I thought that wall panel moved, but I think it was just rendering issues. Just making sure there's no hidden panels. And yes, I do tend to mash the save button a little bit more often than I should do, but to be honest, it's a form of laziness. If I die, I can't be bothered re-going through all those same rooms again. And it looks like I found the mother load of ammo here. And I was just checking to see if the pistol I had was any better or worse than the pistol that's in the crate. And of course I haven't got room for it in the inventory, and now the box is in the way, so I'll get rid of the box. And we'll get rid of one of the dark guns, because I've already got one. And it's the same as the pistol I already have. So I just get rid of that to uh, free up some space in the inventory. Spark beams are quite handy. Um, I think I may have covered them off in a previous episode. But they're basically a laser beam that you can control the strength of. So you can set them to be really weak or really strong. The catch is that it uses your bioenergy to fire. So the stronger you set it, the more powerful it is, the more bioenergy it draws every time you fire it. Again, just being lazy. If I die, I don't want to bother having to go through all picking up all those weapons again. At this point, I realise I've still got the pistol loaded, and it's a little bit of a waste of ammo using them on the basic mutants. 
But I figure I've got enough ammo now that it's not such a big deal. This is crazy. I'm locked out of my own office. And this damn security bot just keeps saying, she's changed the locks on the doors, orders of showdown. All the access codes are changed on this floor. So I go to Beta Quad for new access cards, and the security bot there starts attacking me. Me of all people. Just checking to make sure the gun doesn't need reloaded. I've been playing Deus Ex again. And just make sure there's nothing behind me. And I've been thinking about doing a, another a playthrough of that once I've finished System Shock. So that'd be something to look forward to. Although at the moment I'm stuck. Um, I'm back in Battery Park for about the third time. And uh, I just cannot get... There seems to be a bug. Someone I'm supposed to contact doesn't appear and so I can't finish that particular mission. So that's a little bit frustrating. Again, just checking the room. One of the previous episodes I did, I walked into a room and I looked around and said, nope, there's nothing in here. And someone commented and said, actually, there was a first aid kit in the corner. When I went back and looked at the video, there was. So it's easy to miss things. This is one of the reasons why I now do the commentary after, not while I record, because it's easy to get distracted and I tend to stutter and lose my train of thought a lot when I'm narrating and playing at the same time. So you get a video full of, um, er, uh, I, um, uh, uh, it's not pleasing to listen to, so now I do the narration afterwards so I can focus on the game at the time. At this point I was just trying to figure out how to check what ammo you load into the gun before you do load it. So when you click on the ammo it tells you what it has loaded but it doesn't tell you what each ammo type is. Um, I think there's a, a way of doing that under the one of the other tabs. I'm trying to avoid using medi patches but I'm also trying to keep my health in the green. Let's wait for the medi patch to finish applying. One of the tactics when you're about to head into a big battle is to apply medi packs even if you're at full health. Because it takes a while for them to apply, they will continue applying while you're in battle. I can't remember if you can throw things through grates in this game. I was thinking about throwing a grenade down there, but I thought I'd save it until I go around the bottom, just in case I end up blowing myself up. Both guys remind me of the boar. At the moment I'm just focusing on clearing this level before I start exploring properly. And in hindsight, even when I was doing that, I realized I should have just thrown a grenade. So that siren-y thing you could hear in the music was just letting you know that your health was down into the amber. And one more medipack. Apologies for the 4x4, sorry, 4x3 aspect. <laughs> remembered how to throw grenades. Heading into this area I was looking for a light switch but I couldn't find one and at the moment I was just checking for any upgrades that would give me better night vision. Unfortunately I don't have anything installed that does that. Again, just looking for anything that will help me see in the dark. I need the light amplification goggles from Doom. And I give up looking for light. And just figure I'll come back to that area later. More 
needles. And I decide to switch to the needle gun, seeing as I've been picking up a lot of needles. Or the dart gun. One of the mission objectives is to find that SCI access card, but again at the moment I'm just focusing on clearing the level. Or more specifically, clearing the level enough that I can wander around without being killed, and not too much so it starts regenerating enemies again. I couldn't find the lever for that station to convert it back into a regeneration station instead of a cyborg station. And that's what I'm doing at the moment, is looking for that lever. And failing at equipping the pipe to take out that camera. I vaguely remember the switch is hidden somewhere in this area, but... Hidden. And I wonder if that's it down there, but... It just drops the lift. Still looking for that lever. Just in case there's something hidden around the corner. It's unusual to find grenades and things without something guarding it. And just admiring the upgraded textures that System Shock Enhance gives us. So I start thinking, well maybe I don't need to activate that cyborg chamber, seeing as it's there and I've walked into it and I've unlocked the force door, maybe that's converted it. But that isn't the case, so I still need to find the switch. Again just saving so I don't have to go through all that area again. And now I'm a little bit lost, realizing that I've already been through been through here. So in that big center square you can see there where the cursor is now, that's completely blocked off by locked doors, so I've got to find the key to get into that area. Notice this level is very red as well, as opposed to the previous level which was very green. Each level doesn't have its own colour theme per se, but it does have its own theme. So this level is very obviously red, it's very uh, office layouts, labs, experiments, that sort of thing. Still going around in circles a little bit and then realise I haven't been up here. And that was terrifying. I thought I'd died. I literally thought that that was a trap, and when I'd walked in it, it had killed me. A little bit suspicious that there's all this stuff lying around, unprotected, unguarded. Nitro packs are good, because I used the last um, of my nitro packs in the previous level, when I was destroying the CPU cores. And again, I'm still just thinking, where's the lever for that sideboard chamber? And also, how do I get out of here? But I didn't realise that I came in through a teleporter the same. Time to destroy that mutant. And that terrified me. You see the little shake, I actually yelled. 
I didn't see that thing coming. And as you can see, I panicked a little bit and threw that grenade a little bit too close, which gave me some damage. And I wasn't too sure if it had killed it. Of course, that's the only problem with doing the narration afterwards, is you don't get to hear the reactions and the little girly screams I do when something makes me jump. Again, using medipacks here, I'm, I loathe to do it because they're so rare, but I don't have a choice. I can't find a medibed on this station. I don't want to traipse all the way back down to the first level. And I realise that my dart gun isn't hurting that hopper, so I switch to the pistol. And the hoppers are actually a lot tougher than I remember them. I think I've always played, uh, well I know I've always played on an easier difficulty, but I think it made them a lot e easier to kill. So, again I got a little bit hurt there. I noticed the power recharge station over there, but no medibed. Going through for a little bit. And now I'm thinking, do I have an augmentation that will help heal me, seeing as there's a power source over there I can recharge my bioenergy? There isn't. So I use a stam up, thinking that that's a stim pack, but it's not. So unfortunately, I have to re resort to using meta packs again. So I decide rather than do that, I'll just save here and see if I can keep going, see if there is a medical bed somewhere before I waste the last of my medi packs. That's the dead robot at the end of the hallway. Reload the pistol. Batteries are handy because they replenish bioenergy when you can't find a bioenergy terminal. And I was meaning for that grenade to go down over the top of that robot and down into the hopper, but unfortunately I killed myself. So that's going to be it for this session. Um, I got back into the game at last, so hopefully in the next session we'll pick up where I previously saved, and this time I won't die. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.